Hello everybody, my name is Leandro Mada. In this video, we're going to see how to clone the image of the PLC program in EcoStructure Machine Expert using the Control Assistant. So let's go to the application. In this example, I have created an almost empty application with some configurations to connect to the controller um, with this PUU. Already call over here. Okay. That this will allow us to make the cloning via SD card. We, we are going to see that later, but in this case, we are going to use a controller assistant. So let's connect to the controller here. Perfect, it's in run. Just organize this a little bit much better. Perfect, you can see it's in run. I'm connected with the controller. I'm going to download, create a boot application just in case. Okay, now what we want to do is to check the user groups. See, what do we have? So I've, I have created the administrator by default and then this user LTA with password LTA. It's just to show you that in this case I have multiple users plus the default that we have already defined on the first connection to the controller. So let's continue with this. High connection with the PLC. Now what I want to do is to clone the application. So we can use the controller assistant. What we need to do is to manage images, read from the controller. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to read from this device, connect. It will ask me for username and password. I can use the LTA that I have created, LTA. Now, this is very important. What we need to do, we have the option to select the user rights to save it, okay, in the current image of the PLC, or save the user right that we have on the PLC. So I'm going to use it. And here we can use a password that this password can be different from the one that you have created in your users on the controller. So you can use whatever we wanted here. Just remember to remember it. So I'm going to use the word test in capital. Just write it again. Test. Okay. So the process will start. This is going to take some time. Let's just for wait for this to begin. Perfect. You have started. So now I'm going to pause the video and then resume what is almost finished. So we can um, proceed with the save of this image of the controller in our PC. Now you can see that the upload of the image is almost finished. So we can wait for this together. So now this is the view when you already upload from the controller the image. Okay. What we need to do is to save the image in our laptop. So I'm going to save it and use test, save. And now, as I don't have another M251, what I'm going to do is to reset the controller. Okay, I'm going to download the firmware so we can start as a new fresh controller. So in order to do that, we have already saved this application, the image. What we can do is to go home, update firmware. In your case, it's not going to be mandatory because probably you have already a new PLC. This part is only just to show you that I'm going to refresh the controller. This will depend on what you have, but this part is only for the firmware. 
so we can proceed I'm going to write on the controller directly I'm going to connect in this case it will ask me for the password the one that we have created I'm going to use this one ATA LTA okay so we can proceed what I'm going to do now I'm not going to keep the one that have have been used the administrator administrator and LTA LTA I'm going to reset so in this way I'm going to start like a fresh controller so let's continue okay proceed and F okay good the update of the firmware have started so what I'm going to do now is going to take some time I'm going to post this part and then we can continue when it's almost finished now the firmware is almost ready okay just wait a few seconds for this to finish and we can continue so what I have done in this part which is not mandatory for you if it's a new controller I just use the same device that I was connected with and then I upgrade the firmware so we can delete the actual user rights that we have so let's continue now okay so what we need to do now is to open the manage images controller we need to load the one that we have created test open good now what we need to do is to connect to the controller but first let me just check if I have connection mm -hmm. it's booting okay wait for it there we go it has come to live again so right on the controller you select the controller that I connected with so now this part is very important in the new version of the thing works okay it's mandatory to create a user due to the California law so in the software the PLC will ask us to create the users uh, users so we can connect and then download what we want to download so in this part what I'm going to do is to create just a um, test user okay and we can proceed in the installation of our image with our credentials with the credentials that we want so let's continue okay let's continue yes so what I'm going to do is to create just a normal one I'm going to create download okay this is new one that is not uh, similar to the one that I have on the on the controller download download okay good the same we can proceed now It will ask us for the password and the user and is the one that we have already created just now we should be download download and now this part is also important if we want to download the credential that we already have in the image we need to select overwrite and select the password enter the password that in my case was test in capital letter so now we should continue if we enter the credential wrong here we are going to receive this error over here okay so pay attention on the password that you have used so we need to proceed with ok alt f and the process of writing the image that we have stored in our laptop will be transferred to the PLC. I'm going to store the video and resume again once it's almost finished. The process is almost finished, so we can wait for this together. Let's 
Let's unload the users over there. Perfect. So now you can see that the image was ready successfully. Now let's see the behavior. Press OK. It will ask us to log in. OK. But we need to log in with our credentials, the new ones, the, um, the one that we have already created in the past. OK. LTA in my case, an administrator. But what happened if I use the previous one that I have just created? So let's use download and download. OK. Just to see the behavior. OK. So in this case, OK, it's not possible to log in because the credentials are wrong. So we just OK. What I'm going to do is to reset the controller because the automatic reset wasn't performed. OK. To connect, I have boot the controller. What I'm going to do now is to check where the PLC is alive. Just wait for it. Wait for it to boot. Okay. A few seconds more. And there we go. We have connection again with the controller. Good. So now, if everything goes well, we should be able to log in to the controller. Yes, I want to log in. There we go. Uh, we were able to connect without downloading from the target or anything. In my case, I have already logged in as this user. Okay, but just to show you that the right user are the one that we have downloaded. Log off from the controller. Now connect again. It'll ask it for the user. If we use download, download is not going to work. Okay, because they use the one that we have used before in the image. There we go. We have a post configuration in my case. Okay, and there we go. I'm back with the controller. So in this video, I have shown you how to read using the controller assistant, the image of the PLC. So we can store that in our PC. And then when we have a new controller, we can open this image using the controller assistant and download it to the PLC, to the new PLC. So we can connect later with our application, the machine expert to the controller and see what's happened inside the controller and it's important if you want to use the user rights remember the password otherwise you're going to have this error message when you try and at the at the end of the at the end of the download of the image you're going to receive that message if the password is wrong okay so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one